I've been building myself a new workbench and decided, well, while I'm building a new workbench, let's make it camera compatible. And so I've got a bracket for holding the camera. That's what all these uh, recent tests with this wooden surface have been recently. And I thought, well, let's add some new lighting. So I went on eBay and ordered some generic 20 watt um, LED floodlights. And I was going to get the warm white because I prefer warm white, but then I thought maybe cold white is better for filming applications. And these tend to be standard chips, so I can change uh, the LED anyway. So, this is one of the light fittings. So let's open it up and see what it's like inside. Is the earth going to be connected, for instance? Let's see. I'm noticing one of those screws is smaller. Uh, I've got two of these, let's take a look and see. Yes, their top right hand screw is smaller on both of them. I wonder if that's a little warranty indicator. If you put the screw in the wrong place it shows that someone's had it open. Don't really know. Screws almost out. Off comes a cover. Off comes a glass. Oh, it's stuck onto the seal. Oh, it's stuck on. Okay. Little power supply in the base here. Earth wire going underneath the power supply. That doesn't mean anything, but it may actually be connected to the case of the power supply. Tiny little solder blob in the LED. Is it off? The chips look really small. I thought they were going to be bigger for 1 watt chips. This is a 20 watt LED and it's the usual, uh, above 10 watt, they tend to go for this array of um, 10 by 10 squares and they populate it in parallel rows of 10 LEDs. So for instance, so this 20 watt uh, LED, they've got two rows of 10 LEDs uh, chips um, in parallel. So let's uh, get the reflector off. Two diagonally opposing screws for the reflector. That's not unusual. Just using two screws to hold the reflector on. Revealing the LED. Mm, interesting. So, <clears throat> pretty typical construction, the little power supply here, and the LED uh, just stuck onto the back. I wonder if it's got a heat sink compound on it. A friend had a load of RGB lights fail, and uh, I suggested he could get new chips. He, he said rows of the chips went out in them. So I suggested he try getting a new chip off eBay, and he did. And when he said when he changed the LED, there was no heat sink compound in the back of it. So I suggested he put some on. Well, it's definitely stuck down with heat sink compound, but how much is there? Oh, it's very, very stuck down with heat sink compound. Quite a lot of heat sink compound, that's good to see. Yep, that's acceptable. I shall put another wee slob on just before I screw this back down. Service all heat sink compound is, to the best of my knowledge, it's an oil, maybe it's silicon oil, I'm not 100% sure, but it contains um, usually zinc oxide, which is uh, just very good at uh, transferring heat. Although I'm certainly not recommending it, you can use a uh, baby cream, the zinc oil, uh, zinc uh, oxide and castor oil type creams as emergency heat sink compound, but I wouldn't uh, rely on that for a long term uh, heat sinking. So let's put this screw in loose. 
You can also, if you get really stuck, apparently use toothpaste, but I'm not sure I'd definitely recommend that. If you really want to heat sink things, use proper heat sink compound. So I was wondering, uh, these are 20 watt uh, fixtures, and I almost considered that if I change the LED to a warm white one, I may actually put in a much higher wattage lamp, because all it means is that there'll be more rows of chips in parallel, and it, it'll be the same power, same current going through them from the power supply, but it'll actually um, <coughs> dissipate more across the surface, because the heat sink, while being modest, is, I don't know, I don't know about what you guys would think of that as a, a heat sink for such a high power LED. But anyway, let's uh, check out the earthing of this now. Here we go. Little power supply. No, hot melt gluing. Hot melt gluing a crimp uh, is not classed as proper earthing. Oh dearie me, that's rubbish. Oh, and the wires just popped out it. Not that it was really doing much anyway. Here's the LED driver. Model L0010 10 1 10 1 watt Input 100 to 240 volts, 50 60 hertz. Output 28 to 39 volts. 28 to 39 volts because um, there are 10 chips in series and they're roughly about 3 volts each at 0.3 amp, 300 milliamps. Has this been labelled wrong? Ten, is this a 10 watt ballast? In a 20 watt fixture? Let's test this. Where's my lead? Here it is. Bit suspicious about this. Snips. I won't bother connecting the earth because it's not actually doing anything. It will when I use them. I did consider getting 10 watt lights, but uh, hopefully these are not 10 watt lights. I think that's just a labeling error. Oh, little bits of broken glass from a. Uh, Sort of glass dust from their uh... oh, lots and lots of bits of glass from the cover from where they've ground the edges down a bit. Right, uh, let's see. This is just a temporary connection I occasionally use. Not connected to earth because it is not connected in the fixture. I'll just be very careful with that to make sure I'm not touching anything while I'm touching that. So uh, let's see if it works first. Dazzle, dazzle, dazzle. Yeah, it works. That doesn't look very bright. But I could be wrong. Let's get the power meter. Eight point eight watts for a twenty watt light. I think that's a ten watt ballast they've used in line with that LED. Surely not. Hmm. That's a wee bit annoying. Bit disappointed. Is this thing reading correctly? Maybe it's just been confused with the electronic supply. Let's use this other, other fixture I've got, this 20 watt green one. Which does have the earth connected because I connected it. So I'm... Um, Here's the earth. Neutral. 
These are Wago connectors, by the way. They're very good. They're really designed for solid core cables. But I just roughed this up as a convenient means of just quick connecting because it grips them quite strongly. So let's see, this is a green light. Um, I'll point it away from the camera because uh, it's going to be bright. 20 watts. So that other one has just got a 10 watt ballast in it. That's annoying. Okay. So I bought some other lights from another supplier. Different ones. This is one with a passive infrared detector on it. I'm kind of a wee bit, mm, are they just, why are they do, is that just to save money? Or is it to make them more reliable by reducing the amount of power? I'm just getting the lead to test this here. Mm. Right here, the live and neutral are, are stripped for me, but the earth isn't prop because it's not connected again inside that, because that's a new fitting. Oh dear, that'll need fixed. So I shall handle this with caution. Rightio, so the 20 watt passive infrared light, which should hopefully light. Oh, there it goes. 13 watts. That's well short of the 20 watts. Oh dear, this appears to be the latest eBay thing then. So, on that basis, I also bought from the same supplier a 10 watt light. I'm just waiting for this to go out in the, the passive infrared. If it, oh no, it's not going because it was pointing right at me. Oh well, I was wanting to see what its quiescent current was. Rightio. So let's try the 10 watt light and I should hope that's going to be 10 watts. So I'm just going to connect this up. I'll stuff the earth in anyway since it's stripped. Surely a 10 watt light is going to be a 10 watt light. Four point three watts. Do I have any other light I can use to test this for to see if it that meter is? This is all very disappointing. Um, I had another light knocking out here. It is. <coughs> right, so that's four point three watts. That's very, very cheap of eBay, split sellers. This is a chunkier 10 watt light, which I've retrofitted with a blue LED. And this one draws 9 watts, so that's closer to 10 watts. Okay, this pretty much means that all the lights that I've bought recently are, particularly in this flat style, seem to be cheating. Uh, the power ratings and the annoying thing is the the other one that I've just tested there that was showing proper 20 watts the green one and um, I bought that from China um, and it was really quite cheap from China I bought it to take to bits and the all these other ones were sourced from UK suppliers so it's a bit disappointing you know I just thought hey I'll get them from the UK suppliers so they arrive quicker but I'm still going to put them up there's not going to be as much light as I wanted. I suppose I could put new modules in. I think I'll send a wee message back to the seller, but I'm not sure they'll actually give a shit, because, um, yeah, they probably don't have a clue uh, this is even the situation. They, I mean, do, do they know they're getting uh, ones that are labelled 20 watt, but they're actually fitted with 10 watt uh, ballasts in them? Okay, well, um, 
Well, that concludes this video then, in a sour note of LED disappointment.